Hi guys, welcome to shop vlog number 28, where we chat about interesting stuff going on around our workshop. This is what we're going to be talking about, and while we do, you can watch me build something interesting and try to guess what it is before the end of the video. Here's a hint, it involves a meat grinder, so good luck with that. So, I hired a new guy. This is Danny. He's 17 years old and his mustache is even younger. Danny's joining us as a video editor and cameraman and he'll also be building some shop projects, assisting Pete and Mustache Mike and all sorts of other things. He's proving to be a very versatile guy to have around the workshop. He brings our staff up to five at the Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal shop, which seems like a lot considering this isn't a commercial shop, we don't produce any projects for sale, but this is what it takes to make the sort of videos we produce. Educational tutorials aren't just a matter of talking to the camera. We have to build things so that we can show how the techniques are done. For example, we're currently building a solid hardwood front door so that we can make a video about loose tenon joinery, another video about lamination and grain reversal for stable glue-ups, another about applying a durable exterior finish, another about resawing lumber on a bandsaw, and another video about gluing up thick veneers with platens and vacuum bags. One person can probably build a door in just a few days, but it takes a team of people to plan, organize, film, edit, and produce five tutorials from one project, plus any project plans or online courses that may come from it. That's also why we have a big workshop. Not because you can't make everything that we make in your garage, but because we have all this other stuff going on behind the scenes that most folks don't know about. Anyway, I'm pretty excited to get someone who may be able to take over some of the video editing and to help out all over the shop. Did you catch this little tidbit? Plus any project plans or online courses that may come from it. Plans and courses. We'll talk about plans in a minute, but let's talk about courses. As many of you know, we've been building a new website with the goal of making all of our tutorials available in a more organized way. For example, our videos will be organized by category on the homepage of the site, so you can find what you're looking for much easier than you can on the YouTube channel. We have hundreds of free comprehensive tutorial videos that you can learn from, but we're also going to be doing something new. We're going to be producing paid courses that you can take if you wish to learn a lot about a certain subject or project. This is still in the planning stage, and none of it will be online until the new website's finished. Right now we're building a sample course about table saws. This one will be free, so when it's ready you can see how these courses will be different from our YouTube videos. In fact, for this sample course, we're taking our five-part table saw series that originally was released as YouTube videos, and we're re-editing it to create a course. So what's the difference going to be? The course is broken down into lessons, which are further broken down into shorter video segments. Everything is carefully laid out to be easy to follow, much like a class. Each video segment comes with a companion article and photos, and each lesson ends with a quiz to help you get the main points. It's all about learning so you can grow in your knowledge and your skills and become a better woodworker. Each course may also include downloadable materials, perhaps a PDF version of the course, and project plans if applicable. The table saw course is just a sample. Future courses will be all new information, not stuff that's found on our YouTube channel already. We'll do some tool-based courses for routers or the bandsaw and so on. We'll do some skill-based courses, such as one about joinery, one about finishing, and so on. We'll do some project-based courses, such as one about making cutting boards, one about building end tables, and so on. These will be much more detailed than our typical woodworking videos on YouTube, and you'll be charged for them. But I think we'll keep the prices affordable, significantly lower than what others are charging. 
I hope the website will be ready by the fall, and then we'll start posting courses one at a time as we produce them. Remember, these courses are in addition to our regular YouTube videos. We're still producing well over 100 free videos a year, so you'll be able to learn a great deal without paying for anything. With these courses coming, you may be wondering what's happening to our e-magazine, Stumpy Dubs Woodworking Journal. In a previous vlog, I talked about how we're going to relaunch the journal as a paid subscription-based e-magazine with different levels of projects designed to help you build your skills, try new things, and advance. Sort of like a woodworking course in magazine form. But after long thought and discussion, what we had planned just didn't make as much sense as producing the individual courses I just described and letting people pick what they wanted instead of requiring you to pay for a journal that contains projects you may not be interested in, some of which require skills you may not even yet have. Basically, all subscribers would be paying for a lot of project articles that only a few were building, and it doesn't make sense. So, we are not going to charge for Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. When it returns, hopefully in this fall, it'll be free just like it always was. But it will be different from the old version, which was video-based. This version will be article-based. In fact, it'll contain articles based upon videos we've made in the past. We'll take our most popular tip, tutorial, and project videos and we'll turn them into articles for the e-magazine. So even if you watch all of our YouTube videos, you're likely to forget a great deal over a decade's time. Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal will be a convenient way to revisit some of those subjects. And since it will be in the form of text and photos, you can download the whole issue and read it offline or save it for future reference. So the plan is to continue teaching through 100 to 150 videos a year on YouTube like we've been doing. We'll organize all that content through the new website menu system and with a free version of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal that reviews some of the past work and we'll produce a series of paid skill, project, and tool-based courses for those who want to learn more about the craft. Remember when we used to make a lot of innovative jigs and shop projects? I miss those days too. We haven't done a lot of that stuff for the last couple years because I never had the time to make the project plans. Our plans are very detailed and they take a huge amount of work. I have lots of ideas and I've designed a lot of cool things that have never made it onto our channel because the project plan bottleneck is there. That's one of the reasons I hired Danny, to help relieve that bottleneck by taking over some of the editing and even building tasks so I can spend more time designing and writing and teaching and making cool stuff like we used to. This isn't just some idle promise. We already have several shop projects that are nearly ready to release. Of course, we have the modular miter saw station and the project assembly workstation. Both of these have been mentioned before. They're modular designs based upon cubes that you can assemble in any order to create the size and type of workstation that suits your shop space, small or large. You can use drawer modules, cabinet modules, custom tool holders. These plans are taking a long time to make because there's so many options involved, but they are coming. We've also nearly completed the one wall workshop, which is a way to fit a well-equipped workspace along one wall in a standard garage. You can customize this for the tools you have, but ours includes a drill press, room for various benchtop tools, a jointer, a miter station with flip up supports, a workbench with a homemade wagon vise, a planer, a bandsaw, and cabinet storage above. Our table saw is on rollers so it can be stored nearby, but you could easily slide a small table saw underneath the workstation if you didn't have the jointer. Another upcoming project is a compressor cart which keeps all of your nailers and accessories together so you can wheel it around the shop or load it in a truck and take it to a job site. We've also been working on a drill press cart with plenty of storage for bits and accessories. This one rolls over the base of a floor standing drill press. 
or you can set a bench top drill press on top and make it a stand instead of a cart. This is a portable router table that folds up like a briefcase so you can carry it somewhere or store it away. The router goes on or comes off easily with toggle clamps so you don't need a dedicated table mounted router. Here's a portable dovetail station which can be put on any work table giving you clamping options if you don't have a traditional workbench. Or even if you do, this gets your work up higher to a more comfortable level. And all your tools store inside. We just finished this massive router bit rack that's designed to make it easy to swap things around and organize your bits as your collection grows and evolves. It's easily resizable if you don't need one as big as mine. We also just finished an upgrade for our tilting table horizontal router. It's an XY sled table with integrated stops for cutting joinery such as tenons. And finally, we just released a video on this shooting board bench hook combo that works with a sanding block for those who want the ability to precisely fit project parts or fine tune miters without fiddling with a hand plane. As you can see, we've been busy making lots of jigs and shop projects, just like we used to on this channel. And just like in the past, many are designed for small shops with limited tools. I promised we'd be using our corner workshop space to help our small shop viewers. And you're going to start seeing those promises fulfilled in the coming weeks and months as we get all of these projects I told you about converted into plans and we prepare the videos for release. It's been about a year since we bought the new shop, and I have to say, it's been one of the worst years of my adult life. Buying the shop was great, but things seemed to go downhill from there. I never get sick, yet in the last year I've had two really bad colds and one stomach virus that kept me seriously ill for nearly a month. My wife had a very serious case of pneumonia for a while. Then she seriously injured her ankle and needed months of physical therapy. In October, I mangled my hand, and I needed surgery and months of physical therapy for that. And all of this was before COVID hit. That completely shut us down for weeks, and it's dramatically changed life as we know it. Then we had a historic flood that thankfully spared our house and shop, but destroyed the homes of some of our friends and neighbors. I feel like I'm leaving something out, like locusts and frogs. It's been a terrible year, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. We have a new shop, new staff, Soon a new website, new courses, new e-magazine, and a bunch of new projects. Speaking of projects, did you figure this one out? It's a butter churn table. It was inspired by an actual antique butter churn that was turned into a table. I thought it was interesting, so a few years back, I made one. I'll link to the original project video and the video about applying the aged waxed finished pine. Well, that wraps things up for this vlog. We came out of all the crap over the last year stronger than ever, and if we can get past this COVID thing, I think 2021 may be the best year yet. So let's sit back and have ourselves a cold one, because you've earned it, my friend. Featherboards improve the quality and safety of table saw and rudder table cuts, if you use them. Hedgehog featherboards are designed to be easier to use. With a single knob and one-handed operation for quick adjustments, there are no more excuses. Check them out at the link below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.